Hi Titusville UMC kids, it's Pastor Emily. I hope you had a good week. I wanted to tell you today about one of my favorite stories in the Bible. It's the story of the prodigal son. Prodigal is just a fancy word for someone who spends a lot of money on things that they don't really need. There was a man who had two sons. His older son was kind of the good son. He stayed at home, he did what he was supposed to do, he did his chores, he helped his dad, he made sure the family business was going strong. The younger son was a bit more wild and he was not having any of that. He went to his dad and he asked his dad for some money so he could go and explore the world. And basically his dad said that was okay. We're not too sure why, but he took the money, he went, he had a great time, but he was not very wise with how he spent his money. He just spent it on big parties and expensive things. And eventually that led him into a pretty rough situation. He didn't even have enough food to eat. So he took a job taking care of some pigs. He was so desperate that he wished he could eat what the pigs were eating. That's how bad things were. When it got to that point, he decided that he needed to go home and to ask his dad if he could work for his dad. So he traveled home and when his dad saw him, instead of being angry with him or telling him that he couldn't come back, his dad welcomed him with open arms and was just so overjoyed to see his son. Now, the older brother was not very happy about this. Remember, he'd been staying at home all these years, um, doing the right thing, helping his dad, uh, not going and having these crazy parties. And so he asked his dad about this, why he was favoring this younger son who had basically broken all the rules. And his dad said, don't be jealous. Everything that I have belongs to you. And we are celebrating your younger brother coming home because he has been away for so long. I actually have a, a very famous painting on the front of this book here of the father there welcoming his younger son home and then that's the older son watching and not very happy with the situation and the reason I like this story so much is because at different times in my life I have felt like different people in the story sometimes I feel like the older son I am an older sister so I feel like oh, I did everything right I tried my best and sometimes I just feel jealous of the way that other people maybe get treated. Other times I feel a bit more like the younger son, like I've maybe made some mistakes and I need forgiveness and I need to kind of ask God to take me back and wrap me in his arms just like the father in the story. And sometimes I even feel like the father when someone has hurt me or gone away when I when I needed them and then they come back and they ask for forgiveness sometimes I'm in that position of giving them forgiveness and the reason I wanted to tell you this story today is because stories can be so helpful in helping us understand who we are and what life's all about stories I think we sometimes just think are fun to listen to or made up things, but they can be really helpful in understanding who we are. So I would ask you to think of some of your favorite stories, whether they're from the Bible or not, and what is it you like about them? Is there someone in the story who maybe makes you think of yourself and what you would do in that situation? Or maybe there's someone in the story who you wish you could be more like because they do something really cool. There's also one more thing I wanted to um, talk to you about today and that is 
Um, last week I asked you to send me a picture or an email or a video of three things to help me get to know you better. And I just wanted you to know that I am still, there's no deadline on that. It's not a school assignment. So you can still send those to me. I still want to get to know you better. Um, and I'm excited for whenever you can, whenever you can get that to me. I look forward to meeting you in person when we can. Have a good week. Bye.